Hey, what's up, guys? It is Chikoi for the Dragon Files, and now we're on our part two of HTML lesson on this HTML tutorial series. So first, let's get started. Open your context editor and type in the following tags: HTML, and then close it with slash HTML. And next is the body, and close it with slash body. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is to add an image background for our HTML. So to do that, all we have to do is add an attribute called background. And now to put the value of for the background, all we have to do is assign a an image that we would like to put in as our background. So for this tutorial, I'll be using uh, the logo of the dragon. And the logo is saved on here on the desktop. So let's continue. So all we have to do is type in the file name, which is td underscore logo, and its file extension is png image. So all we have to do is type in td underscore logo dot png. Now let's save it first. So we want to save it on the same directory as where is our image in this case it is on the desktop all we have to do is just name it image and it will automatically be saved as an HTML document so just hit save so, and let's go to our and let's go to our desktop here and open it so as you see it is now the background of our web page and it automatically repeats itself to cover the page so there you see it doesn't have any it doesn't have any scroll bars on it it's just the background so now let's go back to our context editor and let's add something uh, different this time what we're gonna do is aligning the images so to do that first let's have some uh, short text like this is an image to align an image all we have to do is use the image of course and now the source src equals we can use the same uh, image that is td underscore logo dot png and as you know this uh, tag will display the actual size of the image so we want it to be smaller so we just we just have so we just have to add some attributes like width and height for the width we can use a hundred and height we can use a hundred to make it a square so first let's save it hit ctrl s and then go to our web page and hit f5 to refresh the page so as you see the text now is here and the image is after the text and the size of the image is a hundred pixels by a hundred pixels first thing is we want to align this image in the middle of the text or on the front of the text so all we have to do go back to our context and replace this in here so by placing the image tag before the text it will result into this hit F5 the image shows first before the text and what if we want to put this image between the text so all we have to do is highlight this one and then cut it or just move it using your mouse between the text so if you wanted to put after the word it is all you have to do is drop it there or if you want to move you can move it here or even here so let's save it and see the effect so there you go that is how to align image between the text before or after the text now what if we want the text on the top of the image I mean it is aligned on the image but it is not on the bottom so as you see the default for HTML is the text is placed on the bottom so all we have to do now is add an attribute to change this so go to our uh, context editor and add this attribute the attribute is align now we have three values for align it is on the bottom on the middle or on the top so if we want to put the text on top all we have to do is use the keyword top 
Now let's save it and see the effect. So as you see the text is now on top of the image. Okay for the middle all we have to do is change the keyword top into middle and save it. Go to our web page and refresh it. So it automatically aligns on the middle of the image. Now to bring it back to the bottom all you have to do is remove this attribute or type in bottom. So save it and then refresh let's see so it actually works. Now for the last uh, lesson for the images we're gonna be adding a link on the image. So first let's make another image. Just copy it and paste it beneath the line. So if you remember text links are made using anchor tag that looks like this. All you have to do is cover the image tag with anchor tags. So let's try it with this image. All you have to do is add a href equals http slash slash www.dragonfiles.net and enclose it with slash a. So save it, hit control s and then try it. Go to our web page and hit F5. So as you see, the image goes after the word image. So all we have to do now is add the uh, keyword BR. Use BR to bring everything after it on the next line. So save it again and hit F5. So as you have noticed, when we hover on the image, the cursor changes into a uh, pointing hand. So when you click it, it will bring you to the link we have made. It is the dragonfiles.net. So we have a little problem here. The image has a border. So to remove that border, all we have to do is go to our uh, context editor. And then inside the image tag, all we have to do is add an attribute called border. And you can input the values here, which will determine the thickness of the border. So if you want to remove the border, all we have to do is give it a value of 0 because the default value of the border is 1. So all you have to do is change it to 0. Now save it and then go to our web page and refresh it. So as you see, it now removes the border of the image link. And when you hover to it, it will still be a link and brings you to the link that you have assigned to it. So that's it guys for the image lessons. If this helps, please rate, comment and subscribe to the Dragon Files because that will really help me a lot. So thanks again and see you soon.